we know that Jesus is the reason for the season. And we want to say happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all of you, our friends and family, everyone that's watching us and joined us thus far. We just want to say happy holidays and we bless you and your family. Hallelujah. And we give God all the praise and all the glory. And we thank y'all for joining us. Hallelujah. As we celebrate the birth of Christ. Amen. Amen. We have our scripture reading coming from Luke 2, starting at verse 10. And it reads, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, laying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Father God, we thank you, God. We thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor tonight. God, we lift you up, God. For your word, we, re we realize, God, that you're the reason for the season, God, and we'll celebrate you tonight. We'll celebrate you this season, God, because we realize that it's all about you, God. No matter what has happened, God, we glorify you, we magnify you, and we lift you up, God, because you are the reason for the season, and we thank you, God. We are here because of you, God. Hallelujah. We're in our right mind because of you, God, and we thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor, God, how we love you. And God, we thank you for being who you are to us, God. In the name of Jesus, we give praise, glory, and honor. Hallelujah. Come on, saints, and bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He brought us over again. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, what's his name? His name is Jesus, a mighty counselor. Hallelujah. A bridge over trouble and water. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
Come on, my God, and give God praise. Amen. Come on, somebody just shout, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I tell you what, my God, let's give God some praise. Amen. We thank God tonight for our music and ministry. Listen, listen, we're here this Wednesday. Amen. This Christmas season. And yes, as Minister Stemming said, this is, he is the reason for the season. Jesus is the reason for this season. And saints, I tell you, I come tonight to give God the praise, amen, to bless his holy name, amen. We just wanted to come, amen, this afternoon, saints of God, amen, on this pre-Christmas um, Eve, amen, to, to just encourage you and to give our Christmas message about our Lord and our Savior, at Jesus Christ. Amen. Again, we thank you. We're praying that you're having a blessed day. 
and we want to say Merry Christmas to each one of you that are watching. Amen. And I pray God blessing and God favor upon your very life. Amen. And remember, this is the reason. Amen. He is the reason. Jesus is the reason for this season. Amen. Well, let's go to the scripture, y'all. Amen. Let's go to the scripture in Matthew not going to be long. I just want to say a word to you. I know you're busy. I know you got this thing, a lot going on during this holiday, but we just wanted to come. Amen. Sing a few Christmas carol and get you in the season. We know this has been a long year. The last 10, 10 months been rough. Amen. But God is still good. Amen. Matthew chapter one. Amen. Matthew chapter one. And we're going to commence reading at verse 21. Amen through 23. Matthew chapter 1, and we're going to commence reading at verse 21. Amen. And conclude at verse 23. Watch what it says. And he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Watch this, y'all. Now all this was done that it might fulfill which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. Here it is. And they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God with us. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to talk about tonight Emmanuel. Amen. God with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Emmanuel, God with us. Saints of God, and we thank you for tuning in tonight. As we celebrate this Christmas season uh, somewhat in a different way with the social distancing, with the COVID-19, um, as it relate to the time that we are living in, it's different. It's a different, if a diff, it's a different day. Amen. But listen, y'all, I got good news. I believe it's still hope to enjoy because of Emmanuel. Amen. Amen. Emmanuel means God is with us. And I don't know about you tonight. Amen. But I'm happy and I'm glad. Amen. That I'm not by myself. Come on, somebody. That God is with us. Come on. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad tonight, amen, that God is with us. And, and here it is in Matthew 1, amen, the story, watch this, y'all. This story is filled with miracles, is filled with traditions, and is filled with angelic dreams, yeah. is filled with salvation, and is filled with Faithful obedience to our Lord. Uh, it's filled. This, this, this message here in Matthew is filled with miracles. God, I need to say it. It's filled with tradition. It's filled with angelic dreams and salvation. And But most of all, I'm shouting tonight because it is filled. It is filled with faithful obedience to our Lord. Joseph, here it is, Joseph, watch this, y'all. Joseph dilemma here, start here in Matthew 18 and 19. Mary, amen, pregnancy was a dilemma for Joseph. Yeah. Uh, on one hand, watch this, y'all, on one hand, amen, he, he wanted to obey the Mosaic law and divorce Mary. But on the other hand, he did not want to subject her to public disgrace and the possibility of execution. So here it is, y'all. Joseph, uh, 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 Joseph got some drama going on. Uh, but, but somebody just shout Emmanuel. <laughs> Even though you got drama going on, you ought to thank God that Emmanuel is still with us. Before Joseph could privately divorce Mary, watch God. Somebody said, thank you, Jesus. The Bible said an angel of the Lord, watch this, appeared to him in a dream. Yes. 
And watch what the angel did. The Bible said the angel told him, amen, that, 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 that to him, to, that, it gave him the identity of the father. Oh, my God. Watch what the angel did. The angel said, said Joseph, amen, I, I need to explain to you, amen, that this is of God. Yes, sir. <laughs> don't, don't be worried. Come on, you don't have to fret. You don't have to fear because everything that is happening is of God. Yes. And here it is, the angel explained to Joseph that Mary had not been unfaithful. Somebody said, thank God for Emmanuel. He, he, she had not been unfaithful to him for this child. She was carried, was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And here it is, Joseph, the dilemma began to escalate because this, 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 this dream. And when the angel come, it had to assure Joseph. And Joseph had to be faithful to God's word. Right, right. Here it is, this, this prophecy, when the angel said, Joseph, amen, this, this child was conceived by the Holy Spirit. This prophecy, this this fulfilled the prophecy in Isaiah 7 and 14. Right, right, right. That, that, that the virgin will be with child and give birth to a son and they shall call him Emmanuel. Here it is, here it is, here it is. We have, we have tonight, y'all, we have the incarnation of God. Amen. The incarnation, watch this, was God's son. Becoming physically present in a world by taking human flesh and his nature. Okay, what you say? It, it had to happen this way. Come on, somebody. The child was conceived by the Holy Spirit, but Mary had to give birth physically. Right. Amen. Because Jesus had to come down in a human form. And that's here it is. That's why Joseph, God help me tonight, that's why Joseph needed an angel to convince him, to convince him that Mary was still a virgin. Yes, sir. Well, let me pause and put a quart in the meeting here. I can understand Joseph's dilemma. I can understand Joseph. Here it is. Mary just pop up pregnant. Her pop, she just pop up and her stomach big. Y'all ain't going to hear me here. And you going to tell me, I knew I had Joseph. Joseph wondering, Mary, me and you have not slept together. Come on. I, we was waiting on our wedding night. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. But the angel had to convince Joseph, and come on, that Mary was still a virgin. Right, right. Here it is, y'all. The angel said, well, Joseph, what we going to do? We're going to give you the opportunity in naming Jesus. Come on, come on. Joseph accepted him as his legal son, yes, sir. Yes, which fulfilled the prophet that the Messiah would come from the line of David. Can I teach this tonight, y'all? And the angel told Joseph to not fear because that would be public scrutiny. Right, right, right. Joseph, man, you... you you don't know Joseph got dilemma going on, but somebody shout Emmanuel. I don't care what kind of dilemma you got going on. I just want to tell somebody, Jesus, the Lord is with us. Come on. I know COVID-19 is running rapidly and we can't do this year like we did last year. But Jesus, I'm telling somebody, he's with us. So the angel tells Joseph, don't fear the public. Joseph value and watch what Joseph does. Joseph valued his commitment to God. And when God revealed, help me hold, hey amen, that his will through the angel, Joseph immediately believed and obeyed God. Sisters and brothers, sometimes God has to reveal his will and his ways to us, but it's up to us to obey him. Y'all, it's up to us to believe that God is who he said he is. It's up to us to believe. Come on, somebody. It's up to us to know that no matter what we're going through, amen, Emmanuel is with us. Here it is. Joseph chose to obey God, even though it meant he will remain an object of shame. Folks, we're going to talk about it. But Joseph, remember, Emmanuel is with him. Amen. Sisters and brothers, we must believe that God does miracles. 
We must believe that God is a sovereign God. Yes, we must believe that Emmanuel, God, is with us. And you know, sister, as Joseph, amen, accept this miracle, amen, what happened was, see, any time God revealed something to you as it relates to a miracle, miracle requires faith. God, I feel this. I said miracles requires faith. And though Jesus through Jesus, amen, though God, Jesus, God is with us, it still takes faith. Here it is, here it is, y'all, and I'm about done. The angel told Joseph that the people, amen, that, the, that they will call Jesus Emmanuel. Yes, Joseph believed the angel. Come on, somebody. He believed the angel. He trusted, amen, and had faith. That God is with us. Right, right. And here it is. Hey, they tell Joseph, said Joseph, amen, in verse 23, behold, a virgin be with child and shall bring forth a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted that God is with us. The Bible said then Joseph rose from his sleep. Amen. As the angel of the Lord had been him and took up him his wife. Amen. Ain't you glad? Amen. This morning that Emmanuel is with us. And sisters and brothers, I want to tell you tonight that I know this Christmas is different, but the Lord is still the same. I want to tell you, hold on, my God, to your goals and your dream yes, because sir. Emmanuel is with us. Yes, Come on. Sir. Amen. I don't care what you're going through tonight, sisters and my brother. Yes, it's a different time. Yes, we're in a different season. But the good news is Emmanuel is with us. Come on. I know it's not what we used to be too. Amen. Some families going to have to be separated this year. That's all right. Amen. But Emmanuel is with us. I know sometimes you won't have to, you won't be able to gather like you used to on a Christmas morning. You won't be able to gather with family and friends for eating Christmas dinner. But sisters and brothers, shout with me that Emmanuel is with us. And when Emmanuel's with us, you don't have to worry because God going to make a way out of no way. And I just want to encourage you and say to you this morning, this, this tonight, amen, as we celebrate this Christmas, Christmas, at this Christmas season, Emmanuel is with us. Come on, somebody. Emmanuel is with us. So you don't have to fret. You don't have to worry. I don't care what you've been through, what you're going through in the last 10 months, last 11 months, 10 months of this year. Hold your head up. Amen. Be not discouraged. Amen. Emmanuel is with us. Sister and brother, he's with you. No matter what it is, no matter what you're going through, this still is a season that we ought to be grateful. This still is a season that we ought to remain joyful. Amen. This is a joy. This is a joy. This still ought to be a joyful season. We still ought to enjoy because Emmanuel is with us. And I just want to pray for you tonight. We just wanted to come in and just share um, and just let you know that he's with you. He, the Lord is with you. And when you lean and depend on God, amen. When you lean, listen at me, when you lean and depend on God, Everything going to be all right. Amen. You know, I was looking back, saints. You know, we still blessed. We've been blessed over the last 10 months because he's been with us. Amen. That's never was a time that he left us. And we celebrate this season because of the birth of Christ. Amen. The birth of Jesus. Come on. He was born in a manger. Come on. Wrapped in swaddling clothes. Amen. We needed a savior of the world. Y'all, I'm to, I celebrate tonight because we'll celebrate Emmanuel, the Savior of the world. And because of his birth, he's with us. And he, he promised to never leave us nor forsake us. So we thank God tonight for Emmanuel. God bless you. I pray for you. I'm getting ready to pray for you. I pray that this holiday be everything that God, you and God wanted to be. Don't be discouraged. Amen. You hold on 
trust God doing it all and watch God bless you with overflow. He's going to bless you. You just give him praise. Amen. If you give him praise, God going to do everything else. Amen. God bless you. Let us pray. I want to pray for you. Father God, tonight we pray for those listening. We pray for the family. We pray for those at First Church in Union Spring and those that are watching across the country, God, in other cities and communities. I pray that this season will be everything that you would allow it to be. I thank you tonight for Emmanuel. I thank you tonight that he is with us, God. I pray for those families. Amen. I pray for, amen, that you would just touch every home, that you would touch every house, God, that you would touch every family, every husband, every relation, all the children. And I pray, God, that their every need, oh, my God, in the name of Jesus will be met. And I thank you, God, that we can go through this Christmas. We can go through this season because you are the reason for the season because you're with us. You never leave us, nor have you ever forsaken us. And we praise you tonight, God. We lift you up. Protect us, God. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we're declaring and decreeing that this holiday will be one of the best, God, in spite of what we're going through. And we give you the praise, honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, saints. I pray that you would enjoy, amen, this season. Amen. This is a time to love. This is a time to enjoy God. Listen, Emmanuel, God is with us. The only thing I was trying to get over tonight to let you know God is with you. Hallelujah. And with that being said, God bless you. Be safe. Amen. This Christmas in a couple of days. Be safe. Love everybody. Pray God. I pray for God provision that God will provide you with everything that you need. Amen. Y'all already know all is well. Merry Christmas. God bless you.